How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to make a cheap mount for a trolling motor on your kayak. I just used wood that I had lying around, bolts, screws, etc. So here is the finished product. As you can see it just mounts onto the back plate. For the first part of the project you're going to want to pick up some Yak Attack Mighty Mount rails. I do believe I got the six inch ones here and I'm just marking off roughly where I want them to be. This is what's going to hold the entire mount onto the kayak. Just double checking as best I can. It's kind of hard to measure on this thing. Now that I got it lined up, I am ready to start drilling my pilot holes and putting in the screws. It can be quite intimidating to drill your first hole into the kayak, but don't worry, you're above the water line. And once you do it and you realize it doesn't affect anything, you might go crazy putting more attachments onto your kayak. I got all my pilot holes drilled, so I'm going to go ahead and put in all 10 screws. double check that it looks like it's pretty well lined up now I'm just gonna take a board I don't know it looks like a 1 by 4 or something like that eyeball that and then I'm gonna drill the holes for the rail mount bolts to go through to attach the board to the mighty mount rails you will also need to pick up the yak attack gear track hardware assortment. The T-bolts move around inside of the mount so it's easy to make sure that they're lined up. Alright, we're going to screw the knobs on and give it a quick structure test. Do a quick lift test. Looks pretty sturdy so we're going to move on to the next part. I did forget to record this but all I did was grab another random board that I had a little bit stronger because this is actually going to be where the trolling motor mounts onto. Drilled a couple holes and I just used some bolts and some nuts to attach it. This is going to be the mounting plate for the trolling motor so I just grabbed a 2x4 and I'm roughly cutting it in half. Again I forgot to record this but you're just going to mount that vertically onto the T. Again, I just used some bolts that I had lying around. And then I got some eye hooks. This is going to be the guy wires for the steering on the trolling motor. Here it is, all mounted up. So to attach the trolling motor, you just slide it onto the mounting block and tighten down the clamp. And now let's look at the trolling motor. I got the Minn Kota Endura C2 30 inch transom mount trolling motor for about a hundred dollars. There will be seven screws that you need to take out of the head of the trolling motor. And then you'll be able to remove the case and the five speed rotary switch that's inside of there. There will be four wires in there, black, red, yellow, and white. You do not need the yellow and white wires, so you can just shove those down into the shaft as far as you can. I did end up cutting the shaft down. I used a handsaw. Just be careful that you don't cut through your black and red wire. You can take those two wires and shove them down into the shaft along with the white and yellow one, so you don't have to worry about accidentally cutting those wires. And then I put a chunk of PVC and a little chair stopper on top. I put a quick attach on because I don't want to have to carry all three elements of the motor together. This goes into a waterproof case that has a PWM inside of it that will control the speed of the motor. You can get one on Amazon or eBay for about 
15 to 20 dollars. So the red and black wire run in and connect up to the, where the motor connects to the PWM and then I have a positive and negative running out to the battery. It's very easy and straightforward to hook up and there I have my battery inside of a plastic ammo box with a voltage meter on there. So with the power width module there are two switches so it's forward and reverse and then the knob controls the output. So this will sit up by me and this is how I control the trolling motor from my seat. And here is the finished product all ready to go for the first test. It's working out pretty well. I don't have to worry about the motor hitting my kayak and the guy lines are working out great with that T to control the turn of the kayak. For steering I just used a little stick of wood and a U-bolt and attached it to the shaft of the trolling motor. I can cruise around about three to five miles an hour but I haven't tested the battery yet. The trolling motor was about $100 and $50 for the hardware, making it around $150 total to put a trolling motor on your kayak. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Get out there and have some fun on the water.